the meeting will return to order at uh, 1031. Looking ahead to the rest of the agenda, we will pick up with what we did not, where we left off at the previous meeting. It is our intention to adjourn today's meeting by noon, not 11.45, but by noon, uh, for the Worldcon Chair's photo session, which will take place on this stage. There's a di an additional factor in that, because of the program schedule and the fact that the back half of the room is programming today, the air wall is scheduled to go back up at 12.30. We have a very limited amount of time, about 15, 10 to 15 minutes to rearrange this stage. Are you trying to interrupt me for something? Well, there are seats in the front of the room, but if people want to sit back there, that's, that's, their, that's their prerogative if they want to sit in the back of the room. Sorry, getting back to what I was trying to talk about, please. The air wall is going to go back up at 1230. We have very little time to reset this room, and we will need to do so rather quickly and turn it back into a program room before 1 o'clock. The sergeant at arms are advised of this, and we're going to need help from you folks to move these tables back, move these chairs out of the way, make space for the Worldcon Chairs photo session, the video of which will be shot from the back of the room, and then take it all pack apart again. So I appreciate your assistance in doing so and as we adjourn uh, close to noon today. All right, so now we are at constitutional amendments where we left off. And now we're back on the agenda at an, our popular ratification Item A1 failed, and I have the wrong number up there. It was 69 to 99. I fixed it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I have it on my copy. Thank you. Uh, item A2, a story by any other name, which is on page 7 of the agenda. Uh, moved to amend Article 3 of the WSFIS Constitution to clarify that the eligibility for the fiction categories should be based on content rather than the format of delivery. Is there any objection to ratifying this amendment? Uh, Mr. Illingworth, please come to the microphone, state the question. Is the, is the listing of categories in section 3.2.5 correct? Il Tim Illingworth. Mr. Uh, Illingworth, you've got to speak directly into the mic. We'll it was. Uh, and your name. Tim Illingworth. In the second amendments to section 3.2.5, are the story categories 3.1 through 3.3.5 or are they 3.1 through 3.3.4 and 3.3.6? No, no, I see what he's saying. Hang on. One, two, it was actually meant to be one, two, three, four, I thought. Just a moment. Three, three, six is graphic story. Why? Just, just a moment. Yes, excuse me, uh, pardon us here, we've, uh, we've forgotten about this one. I think it makes more sense to be 336 because the well, graphic well, works. Well, related works don't necessarily have a clear author as such. I mean, it's. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, hang on just a second here. I'm, I'm consulting with the maker of the original motion. Everyone turn to the person next to you and say, good morning, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Shh, it's hard to hear, please.
Oh, no, it's okay. The, the maker of the motion has clarified that the intent of the second clause was to consider novel, novella, novelette, short story, and graphic story. Uh, that was the intent. Okay. Okay, and therefore, it will, um, we believe that the numbering in the second clause is meant to be 331 through 334 and 336. Does anyone object to this? Can we correct that now? Okay, there is an objection. Okay, uh, the, the exact wording as in there will take us only through best novel through best related work and will not include graphic story. I believe, is that what, is that what, yeah, just a moment. I think this was my mistake because I recall making this correction somewhere, but it didn't make it into the agenda and I don't know why. We need to resolve this before we can ratify it. Okay, the, the chair's ruling, the chair's ruling is that, uh, three, that it is meant, to, that based on what the maker of the motion tells us was meant to be, is that it was meant to be best novel, best novella, best novelette, best short story, that is 331 through 334, and 336, best graphic story. That's the chair's ruling. Uh, for, is the member rising to appeal the ruling of the chair? Uh, what? Sit down. Sit down, Dennis. The, m m Mr. Olson, come to the microphone. What's that? It's, it says story, and 335 is not necessarily a story. All right, yeah, that is in fact what's in the, in the program book. I'm sorry, folks. Well, we're looking at the piece up here. The program book, which has the, and the version on the website, and the version on LonCon's website, and on your, in your souvenir book on page 143, actually reads 331 through 334 and 336. Not the one on What? The chair rules that the version in the printed piece of paper you all got when you registered is definitive. <laughs> Mr. Yellow. Oh, I hope you're not planning to appeal this. The approved, oh, sorry, the ben Yellow. Mr. Yellow, you will speak Please, to the audience and stop turning your head to look over here because we can't hear you when you do it. Uh, ben Yellow, uh, I am appealing the ruling of the chair because I believe it is important to get into the record. The minutes, as produced by Luncon secretary, say explicitly that what was passed was 3-3 was one through five. Uh, we need to get a definitive ruling as to how these conflicts are dealt with, and therefore I wish to appeal the ruling of the chair, which will force ben, these it was results a type into of the minutes. You're arguing the substance. Which will put the results into the minutes so that we have a ruling going forward. Is there a second to Mr. Yellow's appeal? Second, all right, very well. This is an appeal, five minutes. I would like to remind the members how an appeal is dealt with. On an appeal, the chairman gets to speak first on why he ruled the way he did. Then people can speak against the ruling of the chair, then in favor, and then against. And the chair gets to speak last, and therefore I would reserve 30 seconds at the end of, my t end um, of the time. You don't have five minutes, by the way. Yes. There's not five minutes left. The, the, uh, the, the, the chair asks unanimous consent for up to five minutes to debate this. I don't think we'll need it. Hearing none, five minutes. The chair's ruling is that while the minutes are produced by the head table staff, the definitive document of business passed on is itself certified by the head table, by the chairman and secretary of the business meeting. And it is that document that is the, is the document upon which we depend. That is the ruling of the chair, is the document certified by the 
chair and secretary as the business passed on, even if it varies from the minutes of the meeting as issued by those same people. Very well. Speech against the ruling of the chair, Mr. Yallo. Given the importance of that, of that particular decision. Mr. Yellow, stand straight, speak into the microphone, and stop trying to look over at me. <laughs> Given the importance of that particular decision, I think that it is vital that as many people as possible should vote on this issue so that we can get a definitive ruling into our future rules. A speech in favor of the ruling. Ms. Ms. Dineroff, I want to recognize her. She's been asking, and, and she's right. an interested party. Okay. It was a typographical error. It was my mistake. I apologize, but I think we're going a little bit overboard about it. Speech against the ruling of the chair. I'm trying other people. A question of privilege. Will the member will please come to the microphone and state his question of privilege? Three, three, best related work. And, and it is it's section 3.3.5 of the Constitution is best related work. And this is outside the scope of the, and, the, and it's outside the scope of the debate because the appeal is on, a, a, on what version of the passed on business matters. I think the question is relevant. The, 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 yeah, the, the, the chair, the, okay. What's that? The, the member's question was what is section 3.3.5? The chair, what's that? Uh, the chair was actually recognizing Dr. Lurie. You can't not actually call the question unless you've been recognized by the chair. Dr. Lurie speaking against uh, the ruling of the chair. Yes. Uh, the text under, that is underlined there, 3.2.6, makes no reference whatsoever to uh, graphic story. If it is the intent that this include graphic story, that needs to be added to the changed section 3.2.6. The chair reminds people the debate not, be, not, need not be factual, and I'm not editorializing. The, 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 the short title says, by inserting a new section after existing 3.2.5, which is 3.2.6, and enumerates the categories best novel, novella, novelette, and short story. It does, makes no reference to the graphic stories. Uh, uh, Mr. Eastlake. Um, Okay, what I want to say is that uh, I, I don't think the ruling of the chair is actually necessary in some sense, that if you look at the text here, it says in the story categories, and 335 isn't a story category, and 336 is a story category, so it's inconsistent. Therefore, there must be an error, a typographical error of some sort, and uh, the, the resolution in favor of the business passed on is, is, seems like the right way to do it. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, is there a second to end the debate? Uh, moving into the debate. Uh, you get, don't even let me get my closing argument in, darn you. All right. Uh, those in favor, uh, how many people still wish to uh, speak to the question of the, on the appeal? Raise your hands. Is there any objection to ending the debate? The question is on sustaining the ruling of the chair. The ruling of the chair is that the version of the amendment printed in the pub program book as certified by the head table staff of last year is definitive and takes precedence over any printed minutes or other documentation. All those in favor of uh, sustaining the ruling of the chair, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed to the ruling of the chair, raise your hands. Hands down. There being less than a majority in the negative, the ruling of the chair is sustained. The version in the program book is definitive. I would like to once again read the, 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 proposal, the, the actual proposal, which is printed on page 143 of your program book. Let me sit down here. On page 143, the actual proposal, move to amend Article 3 of the WSFIS Constitution to clarify the eligibility for the fiction category, uh, yeah, to clarify that eligibility for the fiction categories should be based on content 
rather than the format of delivery by amending as follows. It consists of two clauses. The first clause is to insert a new section after existing section 3.2.5. And then it adds a new section, 3.2.6. The categories of best novel, novella, novelette, and short story shall be open to works in which the text is the primary form of communication, regardless of the publication medium, including, but not limited to, physical print, audiobook, and ebook. The second clause is, and amending section 3.2.5 to read, section 3.2.5 in the story categories, parentheses, 3.3.1 through 3.3.4 and 3.3.6, close paren, an author may withdraw a version of a work from consideration if the author feels that the version is not representative of what the author wrote. We have thoroughly used up any possible debate time there was on this in appeals. Is there a motion to extend debate? An amendment would be in order but I uh, would be in order, although there is no debate time left. There, there is debate time left. There no, you used it all up in the appeal. Didn't you use all six minutes up? Or how much was left? Well, I'm sorry, how much was left after subtracting the time we spent on the appeal? There's, there's 157 seconds left, but the way you made the motion, it was five minutes... It was five minutes for debate on the appeal. Yes, There but, was still debate time remaining in the main motion. There just wasn't that full five minutes that... Okay, there's 150 seconds total remaining. Uh, if you subtract the five, after, you, after you're subtracting the debate we just had on the appeal, how much time is left? Okay. Is there any objection to setting a debate time, to raising the debate time back to six minutes total? No, the debate time is now reset to six minutes total. Okay. We're just starting over. Okay. Dr. Lurie. I move to amend uh, section 3.2.6 by adding the words graphic story be uh, between novelette and and. Wait, wait, wait. It has been moved and seconded to amend the section, uh, the ratification of section 3.2.6 by inserting, well, actually changing the first portion of the sentence to read the categories of best novel, novella, novelette, short story, and graphic story shall be open, etc. That's, and it has been seconded. Uh, is the member's parliamentary inquiry about whether it makes it a lesser change or not? Or is it, yes. Yes, I, you all, I knew you all were going to, so I just was trying to, the member was, several members were about to move, uh, to ask whether it was an, a lesser change or not. The chair is in doubt on whether it is a lesser change and submits the question to the members. It, okay, okay. All those who believe that it is, let me try it this way. All of those who believe it is a lesser change and therefore could be ratified today, raise your hands. Hands down. All of those who you believe it is a greater change and would require addition, additional year. Hands down. The chair believes that the greater change has the majority. If this amendment is adopted, it makes it a greater change. This motion would therefore require an additional year of ratification. The chair recognizes Dr. Lurie to speak in, uh, to in favor of her amendment. Since we just said that the story category should include graphic story, it only makes sense to me that we should be consistent within the two parts of this proposed constitutional amendment. Mr. Dashoff, who will therefore be recused from the remainder of the debate on this, on this subject. Jared Dashoff. Um, I believe, and I will yield to the makers of the original motion, but the two clauses are separate in their purpose, and therefore 